uh, we didn't have we had some some random skips out here we didn't have uh, we didn't have an ideal stand I don't know that you uh, that you ever do exactly on cotton uh, but but certainly uh, you 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 look at what you have we uh, part of what factors into that is soon after within two weeks after we planted we had some uh, cool some very cool nights low 40s and uh, even dropping down into the upper 30s on a couple of those uh, uh, night lows uh, at two within two weeks after planting uh, but the point I want to emphasize uh, with a with a stand, you know that those plant populations, the preliminary numbers I've told you already, uh, that's still within a range where cotton can uh, certainly it can compensate for space. That's the beauty of cotton, is it can compensate for space. And so uh, uh, we st we, we uh, as of last week we had a sufficient stand here to to uh, to go forward with and and to do to make uh, the decent yield and and uh, get along with fiber quality, those kind of things. Um, oh, as far as stages is concerned, last week, on average, our cotton here was at the first true leaf. Uh, this week, we're, um, based on what I see walking out here, we're at the second or third true leaf, depending on where you look, what plots you're looking in. Um, again, at this stage, with the heat units we've accumulated, you'd expect maybe to uh, see uh, cotton at a little, uh, with a little more growth, a little more height to it, uh, maybe a little, little further along with uh, leaf stage. But uh, like I say, again, uh, those cool nights, even though uh, we've accumulated a, a reasonable amount of heat units since planting, we, we had those cool nights earlier on within two weeks after planting about the time you know right at time of emergence that uh, that just slowed generally slowed everything down our uh, soil temperatures range from 55 to 75 within two weeks after planting so that that suggests that's one thing we look at you know and and soil temperatures you know when we get below 60 uh, in that 50 range on soil temperatures you know we're getting down into a from 55 to 60 that's a marginal uh, range on our soil temperatures and uh, we had uh, we had two days according to the weather station here we had two days of, of soil temperatures that were were less than 60 uh, after planting our our accumulated heat unit so far is uh, uh, 1300 as of monday uh, we'd have a few more than that by today. That's based on the degree days uh, 60 concept. Um, and so as far as rainfall is concerned, wrap back around to just say a comment on that. Uh, we've had some rain since, since planting and certainly, you know, a half inch there on the afternoon we did plant. That was good. But generally, uh, in terms of what's normal for this area, we're, we're, we're definitely behind on rain and uh, it's it's you know hard to get it just ideal uh, like 2019 as we've been talking about was uh, it was almost the opposite situation too wet um, at this this period of time uh, since planting uh, but now we're we're kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum you might say uh, the insects out here I did see a little bit of thrips activity earlier on last week uh, I'll be looking at that again uh, nothing that I really uh, would say that I'd be alarmed about on thrips as far as thrips but we'll continue to uh, monitor that going forward and uh, and then uh, moving along forward we'll be back out here weekly monitoring uh, uh, for growth and uh, you know any problems or issues with insects uh, pests anything related to pest management weeds and uh, certainly uh, keeping an eye on the moist situation with moisture. And uh, hopefully at this site and, and all the others, we can uh, pull out of this drought slump we're in right now a little bit. And uh, any day we would very much welcome uh, uh, some good rain showers. Uh, hopefully we get those sooner, sooner than later. And I think that's mainly what we have for today.